Happy Saturday, guys. Caveman Mining here. Hope everyone is well and having a good day. Today's video, we have an awesome one for you. It's going to be hopefully quick, but very informative. I have just learned of the news that Nice Hash has, in fact, unlocked 100% of the LHR cards. We are, in fact, in luck because we do have an RTX 3060 LHR Revision 2 card here on our test bench that you guys have seen over the past that we have been testing this thing out as the LHR enhancements have been coming about. So what we're going to do today is switch this test bench over to Windows and we're going to use the nice hash quick miner to see if the claims are in fact correct that we can get a 100% LHR unlock on this card. All right, guys, we are in the laptop now. I'm going to cover at a very high level some of the notes here about the LHR unlock. But before I do that, I just want to give a quick shout out to my man, DJ Mines. Uh, actually, I rolled out of bed this morning. I got a notification and there he was, my man. He's always working, always grinding to report the news of nice hash LHR unlock. So, buddy, I appreciate that very much. I'm eager to see what you get for your results. And I thought it would be a nice way to share, since I have the RT RTX 3060 card, to show some of my results here. So, uh, go ahead and check out DJ. Subscribe. He's an awesome guy awesome content creator and he's got a sick mining farm so go ahead and check his channel out if you would please uh, to get into some of the notes here in order to unlock 100 percent hash rate uh, while mining ethereum with nice hash you need to use what they're calling their quick miner software um, basically uh, if you're not using the quick miner you're not getting the lhr unlock it's whatever software they have programmed in there works on all variants except for 3050 3080 cards for lhr um, drivers version 472 and later uh, pretty much only at this point nice hash will give the unlock but i i'm curious if the other mining softwares will experiment using this uh this software like t-rex and then be minor g minor law minor if they're gonna kind of dig this thing and tear it apart and see if they can actually replicate that using their software uh i'm sure obviously based off of this note kind of a magic how does it work they're not releasing their secret sauce or their recipe so understandably so because they do clearly want to now attract all of the ethereum miners over which i'm guessing once a bunch of these videos get released and this gets out there more and more of the miners will hop over the one caveat i will say just because i want to cover this at a high level then jump right into the miner is with nice hash you are getting paid out in bitcoin so btc uh, you are using the dagger hashimoto slash uh, eth ash um, uh, algorithm so you're technically mining ethereum but you're getting paid out in bitcoin enough talking here because that's not what you guys came here to see but let's mosey on over to the quick miner software because uh, like i said we have to download that and right out the gate guys you can see we're getting 49.49 49 mega hash at 121.8 watts for efficiency of 400 and 6.53 it does fluctuate a little bit tiny on the hash rate a little bit on the power and a little bit on the efficiency because it seems like their lhr unlocker or unlock is just it's kind of continuously running and refining i haven't noticed any super steady drop uh drops it's been pretty steady in terms of mining so um kudos to these guys uh, from what i can see running this over just a maybe a couple hours here just doing some tests it's rather uh, efficient in terms of the software and uh, one thing I, I will let you guys know is you need to fire up the OC tuner to actually run your overclocks MSI afterburner will not work so you need to actually get uh, in here uh, on your nice hash uh, quick miner on the system tray here you will see oc tune you know need to go ahead and fire that up and then that's going to allow you through their software to see some of the stats it's also going to allow you to run your overclocks here so i've messed with this for quite a bit again always overclock at your own risk but these are 
the quote unquote most efficient and most powerful in terms of hash rate and kilo, kilo hash per watt that I've been able to achieve to get that 49.46. Yes, the memory clock is pretty high, but this particular card that I have, I've been able to really push that memory. So I'm not super concerned. And this is just for the sake of testing anyways. So um, one caveat before you can actually um, uh, run these overclocks, you need to go into your nice hash mining or miner a quick uh, rig manager. And you need to go ahead and change your uh, optimization settings to manual. Uh, on here, there are a few different settings. Make sure you set that to manual because you will not be able to change the clocks back here in the OC tuner. And that will allow you to then overclock to achieve your maximum hash rate. So what does this look like from a profitability standpoint? Let's go ahead and take a quick look in what to mine here. Um, they in their software, yes, they're claiming it's, uh, we, if we do a refresh, we'll go ahead and refresh that really quick. It's claiming that we're getting a dollar and 45 cents. I've already pre-populated the 12 cents, uh, kilowatt hour, uh, ratio in for electricity. So that's what they're claiming we, we would make getting paid out in Bitcoin. If we go over, uh, to what to mine, we plug in the settings here. So uh 49.50 121 watts at the cost of 12 cents uh, let me kind of fix that here really quick that brings us to a dollar 34. now that is after the cost of electricity let's just do a quick comparison and see what this card was getting i believe we were getting about 39 at 110 watts now this none of this is at the wall so just kind of take that for what it is here um, that drops us to one dollar and two cents so we've got a over 30 cents increase with this um, nice hash unlocker so the guys <laughs> that's a game changer as far as i'm concerned with uh you know we have we're kind of at the end of the road here with ethereum mining um proof of stake is coming as you guys know so i'm wondering if this is going to change the landscape now for the next couple months if uh, people are going to start going out and buying these lhr cards i'm not quite sure i have to kind of chew on this a little bit to see if it does make sense for myself to go out and and purchase that but you guys will have to make that decision for yourself but you know, at the end of the day, my conclusion is this, this changes things. This is huge. Um, I would really hope that now this information can kind of get shared out and we can start to use this with, um, you know, Hive OS and some of the other mining uh, softwares. Um, so we can kind of broaden the scope of, of Ethereum mining beyond NiceHash. But I have to say, um, kudos to these guys. They did it. Uh, it's a fact at this point. There's no disputing. They did unlock the 100% LHR. So congrats to you guys over at NiceHash. This is not a pr paid promotional video by any means. It's just me simply reporting the facts at this point. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Keep the content going. I will try to stay on top of these new updates as best as we can. But today I am glad to bring you this awesome news. And with that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. We will see you on the next video. Take care.